Oh, Phil, are you running your luck? That was so brave. £32,000. Fantastic. What was it like for you, those few seconds? It was pretty scary over here, actually. <laughs> the other three just didn't look right, so I thought, back your conviction and see what happens. It was sunk out in New Zealand, but it was one done by the French. Do you know, I was looking for New Zealand when the answers were coming up. And well, that would have thrown you, wouldn't it? It certainly would. Yeah, it would. I'd have it gone was, for that. It was sunk in New Zealand, but it was done by France. Yeah, hey, it's yours. Take it. It's oh, yours. pretty good. It's pretty good. Don't want it? Not yet? Um, no, thank you. Okay, I'll put it here. See how we go. You've got that no matter what. You can pay that in the bank first thing Monday morning. Question number 11 is worth... Hey, Jacqueline's face. She's so happy. Question number 11 is worth £64,000. Here it comes. In which country is the city of Mercia? Why are you grinning at me? Um, <clears throat> I went on a, a stag do in um, June from memory and uh, a mate of mine uh, organised it and he said we were flying to Alicante and even when the tickets came uh, and it said Mercia brackets Alicante we all th thought we were flying into Alicante, didn't we, Bill? And um, when we arrived in Murcia, we realised we were actually 50 miles from Alicante and the taxi that was meeting us was at Alicante Airport. So I've got a feeling it's in Spain, Chris. But you, don't, you sound like you don't remember anything very clearly anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say that, we haven't actually got there yet. Let's see what the, um, the full possibilities are. If, uh, if Spain doesn't come up, you've got a bigger hangover than you realise. Right, Italy. <laughs> Germany. France. Spain. I'll Can I play this. Pop at Spain, please, Chris. Final answer. Yes, thank you. It's the right answer. <laughs> Sixty-four thousand pounds. <laughs> yeah. Want to take this one yet? Um, I'll buy me time, thanks, Chris. I'll buy me time. Okay. Here we go. Sixty-four thousand pounds. Now, question number twelve is worth £125,000. If you do play this and you give me a wrong answer, you drop £32,000. You're guaranteed £32,000 no matter what. This is question number 12. You have no lifelines. You haven't done any lifelines for a while, actually. This is for £125,000. You're four away from a million. Here it comes. In a standard full adult set of teeth, how many molars are there in total? Eight. Ten. 12, 16. You're counting it with your tongue, aren't you? Some of them aren't there. Take your time. It's worth £125,000. You do not have to play this question. <clears throat> um, I think I'll do the sensible thing, Chris. Whilst I would guess at 80, if I were going to guess, I won't. I'll say thanks very much, and I'll be delighted to take 64000 You only wanted 1000 when you came in. Yep, that's a uh, good night's work, really, I would say. OK, give Phil a huge hand. He goes away. <laughs> With this, you can take it now. You might as well take it as yours. This check, £64,000. I will tell you, Phil, just before you go, I will tell you that um, if you had said to me eight, I'd be tearing up your check for £64,000 and I'd be replacing it with one for £32,000. It would have been the wrong answer. The right answer, actually, if you've done it ready with your tongue, the right answer, <laughs> if you've got all your motors left, is, uh, is actually 12. So you did the right thing. 64,000. <laughs> 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 <laughs>